All right, hey, welcome to another episode of the Versal Hunter. So what we're gonna to start today is actually gonna be a uh, building a better retrieve series. So I wanna throw a disclaimer out there. I'm by no means an expert. I'm on my first dog, training it myself, um, using some courses, books, YouTube, stuff like that. Uh, but what I wanted to do was basically, my dog is a uh, just shy of two year old Deutsch Strathar. I've had issues with him retrieving in the past, not actually going out and getting things, but holding them, bringing them back. Um, and as a person who primarily duck hunts, that can be an issue. So I figured I'm running these drills, I'm, I'm learning it, so you guys can stick around and learn with me. Uh, so there's a couple drills that I'm going to be learning going forward, but today what we're going to be doing is trailing memory, and we're going to take that out of this book here, which is the Sporting Dog and Retriever Training, Wild Rose Way. Uh, it's got some good drills in here, at least I think so. Um, so I'm just going to actually read you the description of trailing memory and then right here I'm going to put a diagram from the, the book in there for you. All right so before I read you before I read you the description of uh, trailing memory some things that I think you should have ahead of time is you need probably to have your dog reliably hold trained or have a very natural inductive retrieve um, and they're not dropping things consistently and they want to uh, actually retrieve thing. And then what you're gonna need is very good leash manners, preferably heel trained, um, which will make sense in a minute. So what it says is trailing memory. And the diagram is gonna be right about here. Uh, the dog walks at heel as you place the bumpers. Walk the route to the area, drop the bumper, and heel your dog away to retrieve your path with a deselect, no, heel. Do not use the dog's name preceding the command to heel, or he may think it means to go get the bumper. Walk the desired distance away from the reference point or memory bumper, then reline for the retrieve. The pup should be more familiar, more than familiar with these patterns by now. Um, yep, and then we'll go from there. So basically, uh, like the diagram shows, is all you're gonna do is put your dog at heel, walk them out, drop the bumper. Uh, you should probably let them view the bumper. Um, the whole point is to create a memory so that this will develop into Blind retrieves, you shoot a duck, it goes down, the dog the dog can go find it without having to search too much and just use its uh, sight, nose, and memory. Um, so also a disclaimer is this is not gonna be Hades' uh, first time doing this. We've done this uh, three or four times now, uh, but as we go forward, I'll show you uh, from start to beginning on, on the newer stuff. If you wanna see some of his um, earlier ones, then you can go to my channel wherever and I've got a couple shorts of those up. So uh, yeah, the next is gonna be, I'm gonna do a couple reps with him and we'll go from there. If you like this book, if you use these drills, let me know if I'm doing something wrong, <laughs> let me know. Um, like I said, we're all in this together trying to figure out this whole gun dog thing. And uh, Hades is not force fetched yet, so he's a little behind for a draught har. Uh, so we will be pretty much doing inductive retrieve and Hades is a draught har or German wire pointer. A versatile breed or a pointing dog um, depending on how you how you view them and uh, they don't like the rote work as much so when I'm training him on his inductive retrieve I'm gonna be using the clicker I'm gonna be using hot dogs and um, I got it you got to keep it uh, short you don't want to try to just drill 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 with these dogs at least in my experience because they'll get bored and they'll go find something else to do so three five seven reps call it a day, move on, wait a day or two, and uh, work on the drills again. So, appreciate you watching, and uh, I'm gonna give you a couple reps here in a minute. Hey, fetch. Hey, fetch. Fetch it up.
Skip. Good. Triple. Hey, steps. Heel. Now, heel. Hey, stretch. Good boy. All right, so we had some issues with that. Uh, Hades didn't really want to train today, so that's a downside to him not being force fetched. Uh, he's been cooped up and he's still recovering from a porcupine injury three days ago. So uh, he just kind of wants to run around and explore, which is one of the things you have to deal with with a uh, versatile dog or a pointing dog is that uh, their main desire isn't to pick things up and bring them back. Their main desire is to go out and find things. So. <clears throat> we're in an area with a lot of animals uh, run into a lot of deer fox squirrels and so on in this area so after being pretty much cooped up for the last three days uh, he decided he just wanted to run around and play so uh, yeah figure I'll show you the good stuff and the bad stuff so uh, as he recovers and he gets out I run him around some more we'll do a couple more of these videos get a couple uh, get down to where he's actually doing it well and uh, we'll go from there and then we'll, we'll move on to the next thing. And then once he's force fetched, we will be returning back to these. Right now we're just kind of doing it as an inductive retrieve deal um, to get the uh, groundwork, the baseline there. Um, it's been paying off so far uh, with his hunting and with, uh, yeah, with his hunting and uh, everything. So. If you go back and look at some of my videos from a year ago, nine months ago, six months ago, three months ago, um, getting Hades to bring anything back to hand or even within three, four steps was kind of a hassle. Um, now he's bringing things back to hand and sitting and presenting. He still has the issue of the cigar hold, which you may or may not have seen um, based off the angle. 
Uh, so I got to correct that on him. And then you probably saw his heel, off-leash heel wasn't perfect at all. Uh, we are still working on his off-leash heel. Uh, we're going to start formalizing that very soon, probably in the next week or so. So if that's not cleaned up, uh, probably going to do this on leash next time just to keep his heel where it should be. And uh, we'll go from there. So appreciate you watching. If you have any tips, drop them down in the comments below. I would appreciate that. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know if you like this drill or not. And remember, it's just a drill. You never do this in hunting. You're not going to walk out, drop a bird, walk back and send your dog out. It's just to start building that uh, foundation for memories for when that bird does drop and your dog sees it uh, and he can go and find it. So again, appreciate you watching. Uh, this is going to be the Building a Better Retriever series and uh, hopefully we'll get Hades where he needs to be. And uh, yeah, thanks guys.